As of this morning, Bitcoin is down 30% from its late June highs. BTC 11K is another failed breakout or lower high from the recent corrective downtrend. Everyone is starting to throw in the towel on this market again, but I want you to be aware of the potential of a setup that I call the trap. Hi, this is Doc for Ready, Set, Crypto with your one-minute market report for Wednesday, the 24th of July. As a trader of financial markets, I've found that being successful is not at all about trying to predict the future, but rather to prepare yourself to act whether the price goes up, down, or sideways. The principle of maximum adversity is where the majority of market participants get complacent, make the same assumptions as everyone else, and collectively get it wrong. This is when price really moves and creates the maximum opportunity to those that can see through the fog. And we might be close to one of those points right now with the trap set up. I'm going to put the trap set up into the context of the four major rules of price action that are detailed in my Fractal Energy Trading course. Rule number one is that larger time frames dominate the trend. And yes, this is still a weekly uptrend in play. And it's gone from motive wave to corrective right now. This is absolutely normal and even preferred that we go through this cycle, which is when newer traders feel the most heat because they expect the motive wave to continue in perpetuity. And inside of this weekly consolidation, we actually have a smaller daily downtrend with lower highs and lower lows. So we get into rule number two now, which states that reversals come from the inside out and propagate higher in time frame. This means that the reversal back up to an uptrend, when it comes, will come from the smaller time frames like this daily chart, which start to one by one turn into uptrends again. And if this were to happen now, this would take the form of the daily chart setting up a higher low and then ultimately breaking through 11,000 again on its way up to a higher high. You can see the change in polarity now where we go from lower lows and lower highs to a higher low and then a subsequent higher high. This will trap the recently entered bears down here that then subsequently have to buy back their positions to close them out, which only adds to the demand. This is also called a short squeeze. And this is why I call this the trap setup. And it's my favorite reversal setup because it creates the best asymmetric reward to risk setups, where you're risking very little to reap a potentially larger reward. I see these setups at every time frame, which is also why it's a featured setup in my futures masterclass. This is where rule number three comes into play to help us confirm the reversal because it states that descending patterns break to the upside. And this descending trend line will get broken to the upside when a higher high prints and confirms the reversal. And that leads us to finally rule number four, which is that range contraction like we're in, this is a big range contraction period, is always followed by range expansion. So you can see how this works. Range contraction leads to range expansion. Range contraction leads to range expansion. And it's just a matter of time before this range contraction leads to the next range expansion in whichever direction that that manifests itself. The next trend will typically kick in precisely at the point where everyone thinks that the former uptrend is dead. Now, I don't know whether today's movement will create this higher low or not. I can't predict the future, nor can anyone else. If the price breaks below 9,000, then it once again confirms the downtrend and we look for the next level that a trap could occur at. On the other hand, if the price sets up this higher low above 9,000 and bounces higher, then the trap is underway. 
having a defined structure to help you analyze price action and anticipate what's coming next allows you to remain relaxed and just let the market moves unfold instead of putting pressure on yourself, trying to predict the future with trailing indicators. Quite honestly, that's nearly impossible. If you're interested in how to apply this framework to your own trading, regardless of what you trade or what time frame that you trade in, check out the link to the Fractal program in the description below. And that's the trap setup. What do you think? Could this provide you with some edge in this market? Let me know in the comments below and we'll see you in the next edition of One Minute Market here at Ready, Set, Crypto.